What is up, sis? What is up? It's your girl, Chloe Yes, me, back at the cut with another video, you feel me? And in today's video, let me just say this before you come on knees, yep. So let me just say that, come here, baby, you can come on through. Let me just say that my brothers are down here, my brothers went to school work, and my niece was just That's watching God. TV. You, you hear her, yep, yeah. bless squad, bless squad. Okay, God, you're good. Chloe, yes, I mean, not yes, it is. She keeps saying Chloe, yes, it is. We got some crusty lips going on. She's sick right now, you guys. So, yeah, basically, as y'all can tell by the title and as y'all clicked on this video for today's video, is about to be me cooking the seafood crab boil for, like, the first time or whatever. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I think it's, like, a seafood crab boil or whatever. It basically got, like, smoked sausage in it. It got potatoes, corn. It's got the crab legs. It's got shrimp. It's about to be bomb, y'all. So basically, I've been watching videos on how to make it or whatever. And I got my ingredients over here. So right here, we got four of these little, like, lasagna pans or whatever. We about to eat, um, the, we about to eat the crab or whatever, the crab legs out of this. And then I got three huge onions. Like, these are huge, but we about to need a lot of onions. And then I got, you know, the crab legs. These are the snow crab legs, you feel me? This one was $20 and this one was $16. Seafood is mad expensive, y'all. I'm telling y'all, especially if you're cooking for like a big family. Like, it wouldn't have been that expensive if I was just cooking for like myself or like for me and somebody else. But it's a good amount of people up in this house. So, you know, I got my minced garlic. I'm not going to use two of these. I'm not even going to use a whole, obviously, one of them. But I'm about to use a good amount of minced garlic. I got my fresh garlic. Where that at? Hold on. And then I got some lemons. And then I got some garlic, some fresh garlic. Then I got two bags of potatoes. You feel me? These are the gold potatoes. You know, regular potatoes are cheaper. But, you know, these are, these are better for, like, the seafood boil or whatever. I got some chicken broth. Hey, Lonnie, you be quiet. Sorry, y'all, my niece is being loud. But then I got some chicken broth. I just had this in the refrigerator. Um, but basically, I'm just going to use that in there. You don't really need that at all, but I'm just going to add it in there because we got it in there, and I ain't really got to add it to nothing else. I got some butter, some salsa butter. I got two whole packages of it. Packages of it. I'm hoping that's enough. Y'all may be like, I hope that's enough. Yeah, this stuff needs a lot of butter. Then I got some chili powder. I got some paprika. Hold on. I also got some paprika and some crushed red pepper. And then I got some Zatarain's crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil. Basically, it's in the bag or whatever. I was looking for the liquid, but I couldn't find it. I got some Old Bay. I ain't had this in a minute since I was little, but that's about to be amazing. And then I got two bags of corn. You feel me? I got some smoked sausage, two things of smoked sausage, and two things of shrimp. I hope I showed y'all everything, but if I didn't, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys through the video or whatever. So basically, what I'm about to do is I'm about to cook the sausage first. I know a lot of people do not like to cook the sausage first, but I'm about to do that. I'm about to go ahead and cook these before I put them in the boil or whatever. So after I get done cooking them, I'm going to take them out and then start up the boil. So that means I'm about to go ahead and dice up this sausage real quick. I know a lot of people like to get like big old chunks of sausage in their um, seafood boil or whatever. But I don't want them to be like too big of chunks. I want them to be like decently. Oh, so y'all, I did not clean up my kitchen before I did this video. I cleaned up yesterday and I feel like I didn't really have to because it's not really that dirty. So don't be judging the sister, you feel me? Y'all know how it be. Y'all know how it be when you got a big family. But if you don't know how it be with a big family, then I'm sorry. I mean, one day you might. So basically what I'm about to do is take out the package, start dicing them up. sausage cooking y'all now i'm about to go ahead and start cutting up the potatoes the lemons and stuff like that so let's go ahead and start getting that done all right so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse these off first let me go get my strainer so i can go ahead and rinse these potatoes off all right so let me go ahead and put these potatoes in the strainer and i'm gonna start cleaning them off and i'll be right back all right so now it's time for me to go ahead and start cutting up these potatoes i'm gonna go ahead and cut them like in threes i thought i was gonna have to cut them in half but actually it's gonna be in threes
Y'all, I've been cutting these dang onions and my eyes are literally like, they're not as bad as the last time I cut onions. Really, they're really not because I'm like doing it little by little. But my eyes is really burning. So I got that sauce is cooking. It is almost done. It's probably going to take about 10 more minutes. My mom bought that. Are you okay? Okay, my mom bought that huge big old jumbo pan just now for this, um, for this meal or whatever. And I'm so excited to see what meal she makes in that pan because my mama can cook. My mama can cook. What you doing, girl? I'm not going to be dicing these just because they are going to go into, like, the boil or whatever. So it doesn't really matter what size they are. <laughs> but I am going to be dicing them for this sauce that I'm going to be making. Hey. Hey. Stop your dance. You said stop your dance. Why would I stop dancing? I'm happy, girl. Hey. Hey, I'm blessed, girl. Hey. Hey, by Jesus, girl. Hey. 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 What you doing? I want my cereal. You want your cereal? Eat your cereal, baby. Don't spill it. All right, you guys, so as you can tell, the sausage is almost done, you guys. That was hot. I had to go ahead and put that pop down real quick, that pan, because these get real hot because it is metal. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for about five more minutes because it is going to cook some more in the boil. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for about five more minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and start taking this out and then start the boil up. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am now actually taking the sausage out so I can start up boiling this water. And then as soon as the water is boiled, I'm going to start adding the garlic, the onions, the lemon, the corn, the sausage, and let that cook for a minute. Then after all that gets to boiling and stuff and cooking or whatever, then I'm going to go ahead and add the crab legs. All right, so now I'm about to go ahead and add some water into this pan, you guys. Let me see. This is my mom's juicer thing, but I'm about to use it for the water. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on it and then let it boil or whatever as soon as I get the water to about right there. As soon as that water comes to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and add this crawfish and shrimp crab oil. It's basically a bag and you just add it in there. Let me show you guys. It's like a huge bag of like seasoning. And it just seasons the water or whatever as you boil it for the crawfish and for the, um, not for the crawfish, I'm not making no crawfish, but crawfish is amazing, for the shrimp and for the crab legs. I do not know why, but my nose is burning, boy. Okay, so that's enough water. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this cap on in there, Mama Sita, and start getting it, letting it boil. I know y'all still here, huh? So as soon as this water starts boiling and getting like bloop, 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 bubbly, bubbly, bam, bam, bop, then I'm about to start adding stuff, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's also sick, y'all. Y'all, I was over here cutting up this garlic and these onions, and I looked over, and this water is boiling like a dang mug. So let's go ahead and get started on this stuff right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take off this cap, and I'm going to go ahead and put this crab boil in there. Oh, I probably shouldn't put it in that way. That was very... All right, so now I'm about to go ahead and add these onions and the garlic. Ooh, that was hot. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some more onions and some more garlic, but for now, I'm adding that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more onions. Now I'm about to go ahead and add some potatoes. You got to be very careful when you add adding stuff in because it can splash, that water can splash back up on you and hurt you. I got a lot of space in this pot slash pan. Oh, that was hot. That's what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and add this sausage in there now. Just add it all in at once. Now we got all that boiling. I actually just noticed that we had some minced garlic in the refrigerator. So now I'm about to go ahead and add. Matter of fact, I'm going to add all that. There's no point to even hold back. I'm about to add some water to it so I can get all that garlic out. Shake it up, shake it up, baby. All right. All right, so now we got some minced garlic in there. I might even add some more. I need this to have a lot of flavor, y'all. Y'all might be like, girl, you don't need all that. I do, I do. All right, so now I'm about to go ahead and add some chicken broth. All right, got that in there. I'm about to go ahead and add some seasoning. And I'll put it over it when it's all done. I'm gonna put a good amount of that in there. I want this to be kind of spicy and very flavorful, so I want to add a good amount. And plus, this is a lot of water in here, so you want to add a good amount of stuff so that you get the flavor. I'm going to just go ahead and add it in this way. All right. So now I got some seasonings up in there. I do want to add, like, some pepper and salt and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in next. 
Now I'm about to go ahead and add some lemons in there. I'm cleaning off the skin because you know the skin around the lemon has been places, y'all. Matter of fact, I should have squeezed. I should have squeezed it before I put it in there. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm gonna take it back up though. All right, so I'm gonna add some slices. I'm gonna add this in there. So now we good lemon wise. Now I'm about to go ahead and add some corn to this mixture. I gotta go ahead and like get some of this water out of here, honestly, because every time I add some more stuff, obviously the water level goes up. So I'm about to go ahead and take some of the water out. So far it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit and boil and get all that season in there. I just gotta make sure all this fits in here because I added a little bit to them up. Water. So now what I need to be working on is the sauce. So basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and like dice some onions. I need to buy an onion dicer, like y'all know, um, them dicers where you can dice up the stuff or whatever. So, yeah, I need to go ahead and just dice a few onions or whatever. That's what I'm doing right now. And then, oops, I need to cook them up with some olive oil and a lot of butter and add like some seasonings and stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and add like some lemon. And this meal actually takes a lot of butter. That's why I'm not gonna be making this meal that much because it's very unhealthy with all the butter that you need for this because you want to put butter over everything. So that it'll be real good, but man. All right, you guys, let's start getting started on this this um, sauce or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and add a stick of butter. Ooh, it's not really focusing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a stick of butter, let that melt up, get real melted, then I'm gonna go ahead and add some onions. All right, so let's start getting these onions cooked up. Y'all, this crab boil is starting to smell real good. I think I'm about to add some more seasoning, though, because I don't think there's enough in there. I think I'm about to add some more garlic. Let me add some more garlic right now. Just mix garlic real quick. Put it all around there. Make it real good. Now I'm about to add some more of this. And some more Old Bay, boy. Matter of fact, and some more paprika. So at a minute, I'm going to go ahead and take the corn and the potatoes out in like 15 minutes or so. And then I'm going to start cooking up the crab legs because I don't have enough space for all of it right now. So basically, you need some Old Bay. And then you need some paprika. I'm going to go ahead and add some, old, some more Old Bay in a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some crushed pepper in there. Now, you do not have to put onions if you don't want to, but I just wanted to see how this recipe tasted, so I'm gonna go ahead and add these onions. But yeah, you don't have to add onions if you don't want to, or you can add way less. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic. And some chili powder. And some garlic powder. Alrighty, so let's get that lemon juice in there, make it taste real good. Alright, so we got that lemon in there. I see this, the color starting to get in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a few of these onions out though. Alright y'all, so I actually took out a few onions, just a little bit, because I felt like that's a lot of onion. Alright y'all, so this is what we're working with right now. We've got the lemon, the corn, the potatoes, the sausage, everything up in there. We got this over here cooking, this is going to be the sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put this like over the stuff, and then I'll make like a butter sauce, like a separate butter sauce. Alright, so I'm low-key thinking about cooking the shrimp in that sauce. First I was going to make that sauce a dipping sauce, then I was going to make it the sauce to go over everything. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and make it what I'm going to cook this shrimp in. Alright, I know it's going to be real, real, real good. This is going to be real good in here. I think I might add some more butter. Hold on. Alright, so I added a little bit more butter. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook up real good. Then I'm going to cook the other bag. Alright, you guys. So now it's time for me to go ahead and take out this corn and these potatoes. But I'm thinking I might leave the potatoes in and take the corn out. Alright, so I think I just took out the last corn pot. That should be the last one. Now I'm going to go ahead and add these crab legs and I'm going to add the butter on top of these corn tops. But it's time to go ahead and add these crab legs. Some crab legs up in there, boy. I'm glad we got enough space. I'm glad I didn't have to take out the potatoes yet. 
And all I had to do was take out that corn and have some space. So as y'all can see, I cooked the shrimp and onions and butter and it's real good. I got the corn over here. I'm gonna pour some butter over that as well when I put them in everybody's plates or whatever. And I'm gonna put some parsley on it and some seasoning, some Old Bay. All right, so I'm actually adding some more lemon to this sauce, you guys. So basically what's in here is butter, lemon, it's got some Old Bay, some paprika, some crushed red peppers. And basically everything that I showed you guys um, earlier when I was cooking it, all it's got is like lemon and butter and all the seasonings, you guys. Oh yeah, you guys, and also the onion and the garlic. Those are also in this sauce and it's very, very good. So basically I cooked the shrimp in it and I added some more butter. So now it's got a very nice seafood taste to it. A nice buttery, nice taste. I know a lot of people do not like seafood, but this right here is about to be amazing. All right, you guys, so I'm now in the process of taking these crab legs out. I'm trying to get all of this stuff out. It's looking really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and take these lemons out as well because we do not need those. When I tell y'all this is about to be smacked, my family is already loving it. My niece loves the corn. She she don't like crab legs and, like, shrimp and stuff, so she likes, like, the sausage and the potatoes and, like, the corn. But this drone right here, y'all, all I did was I put it all in here. I cooked that in the butter like I showed y'all. Cooked the corn, took it out, put the seasoning on it. I basically got, like, some – I put the butter sauce over everything i put some lemon then i put some parsley and some old bay over everything so yes everything turned out perfectly it looks amazing i'm about to go ahead and smash me to this y'all i'm about to go ahead and head up out of here y'all hope y'all like this video go ahead and smash y'all when y'all get to making it because i just told y'all the recipe you feel me